Hi guys, welcome to Myth Busting Part 11. This is the series where I take your myths in Grounded and test them in the game. In this episode, I show you how to get black ant eggs guaranteed, how to never sizzle in the sandbox ever again, and a new tier 3 axe in the game. Our first myth today comes in from Pizza Gamer, and they ask, Myth, aphids cannot climb up grass with water dew. Let's check it out. I trapped some aphids and cut down grass until there was only one left that had water on it. As you can see, the aphid did indeed climb up the grass stem into the water, so this myth is busted. Aphids will climb grass with dew on it, and they don't drown either. Our next myth today comes in from Maggie Hunter, and they ask, Myth, when shooting a berry with a stave, if you unequip the stave before it hits, then the berry won't drop. Let's check it out. I headed to the hedge and shot a berry. As you can see, the sour staff knocked it down. I then shot a berry and unequipped the staff. The berry didn't fall down. I did the same again without unequipping it and it did fall. Bug alert! <coughs> Yet again, we found another bug in Grounded. This myth is confirmed. If you unequip the staff, the berry won't fall for some strange reason. The next myth of today's episode comes in from Riley, and they ask, Myth, you can b-hop in Grounded. The way they explain to do this is by disengaging your sprint while mid-air. To test this, I ran along my path at regular speed while jumping the whole time. I had stamina drain on and was able to make it to the other side in 50 seconds, with my stamina running out once. I then tried it while disengaging my sprint while in the air, and then re-engaging the sprint upon landing. This only used half a stamina bar, so 50% less stamina, and it also took a time of 50 seconds, meaning you can actually be hopping grounded. This saves you stamina, but doesn't slow you down, meaning this myth is confirmed, you can actually be hop. Today's next myth is one I've heard a lot of people ask, and I'm here to bring you all the answers. Myth. How do you get black ant eggs in Grounded? I have a 100% guaranteed method to get you these eggs, so that you can discover them and make omelettes if you so desire. First, you need to go to the step and kill the black ants on the chair. Then kill the ones on the step, and then the ones that are on the paper plate on the step. Next, you need to head to the nest and kill all of the black ants outside the nest, then head inside and kill all of the black ants inside the nest also. Finally, head to the bottom of the nest where all of the soldier ants are, and you'll find a huge pile of black ant eggs. Myth confirmed, they do exist, and if you know how to get them, they're not that hard to get. Our next myth today comes in from Shiny Absol Games, and they ask, Myth, you can block the Black Ox Beetle's pebble attack. Now, this is probably the most dangerous attack from the Black Ox Beetle, and I'm going to show you two ways to dodge it every single time. If you have a two-handed weapon, you cannot perfect block this attack, as it's too powerful. To perfect block this attack, you must have a shield equipped. If you aren't using a shield, you can avoid this attack by jumping over the rock when the beetle throws it. Thus, this myth is confirmed as you can block it and avoid it in general, no matter what build you're using. The next myth in today's episode comes in from Dark, and they ask, Myth, block with weapons or a shield uses durability. Let's find out. First, I tested by holding block with a shield. Obviously, this uses durability on the shield. Then I tested it with only perfect blocks on the shield. This also does use durability. Finally, I tested it by perfect blocking using weapons. And this, of course, uses durability too. So yes, this myth is confirmed. If you block or perfect block with a weapon or shield, it will use durability. Today's next myth comes in from Magpie. And they ask, Myth. Letting a mosquito attack you a few times is a guaranteed blood sack drop. Now, if you look at a mosquito, you can actually see whether or not it'll drop a blood sack when killed. If the abdomen of the mosquito is white, then it won't drop a blood sack when you kill it. If the abdomen is large and red, then it will always drop a blood sack when killed. If you let the mosquito attack you, it will suck your blood, which heals the mosquito and fills the blood sack. Meaning this myth is true, if you let it attack you until the sack is red, then it will always drop a blood sack. Our next myth today took me five hours to test. 
So if you appreciate the effort I put in, please leave a like on the video. Myth, if you cover the sandbox, does it stop the sizzle effect? As you can see, I built a giant cover over the sandbox using clay foundations. But does it work? While on top of the foundations, my sizzle bar does indeed increase. Once I went under the foundations into the sandbox, my sizzle bar stopped increasing, so this myth is confirmed. If you cover the entire sandbox, you no longer need antlion armor, as you won't sizzle ever again. The next myth today comes in from Gritty Boy, and they ask, Myth, you can harvest crow feathers with a bone dagger if underwater. I made my way to the crow feather that spawns in the water to see if it's true. As you can see, when underwater, I can indeed use a tier 2 or higher dagger to harvest the crow feather. I don't know why this works, but it does. This myth is confirmed, you can break a crow feather in water with a tier 2 or higher dagger. Today's next myth comes in from Joseph, and they ask, Myth, with the power droplet you can get mutations for other weapons like Will Wizard. Now I tested this with Chopper by getting to one kill away from stage 2 of the Chopper mutation. For those who don't know, the power droplet is an accessory that has a chance of doing an additional attack when you hit with your fists. This additional attack can be any damage type in the game, so can we use it to unlock weapon mutations? I had to kill a lot of red ants, but eventually the mutation did unlock, so this myth is confirmed, it does count towards the weapon mutation unlocks, but it will take a lot more kills to get them, as you have to kill the enemy with the additional attack from the power droplet, and it needs to be the right damage type to unlock that mutation. Our next myth today comes in from Big Hmm, and they ask, Myth, Orb Weavers can eat green shield bug parts. Now we already know that they eat stink bug parts, but will they eat shield bug parts as well? I went up to some Orb Weavers and dropped the parts in front of them. As you can see, they didn't care at all, so this myth is busted. The shield bugs smell a bit too much for the Orb Weavers to eat them. The next myth today comes in from Void Plays, and they ask, Myth, you can use the canteen in the hot charcoal springs to heal you. Let's check it out. I made a regular canteen and a charcoal one and scooped the water from the hot springs. As you can see, the water in the regular canteen has a weird icon. When I drank from the regular canteen, it made me sick, as this is actually the icon for nasty water. I drank from the charcoal canteen and it was just regular water. So this myth is busted. The water has no special healing properties. Today's next myth was sent in by Gavin and they ask, Myth, can you pop open the giant scabby using the salt morning star? Last time we found out that the Salt Morning Star is a tier 3 hammer when thrown, but can we use it to open the Giant Scabby? I threw the Morning Star at the Giant Scabby, and it opened up first try. Thus, this myth is confirmed, you can open the Giant Scabby by throwing the Salt Morning Star at it. The penultimate myth in today's episode is myth. The Pinch Whacker can be used as an axe. Now, I know what you're thinking, this myth is busted, it used to be an axe, but they changed it. Wrong. They made the same mistake as they made with the daggers. If you throw the pinch whacker at anything that requires an axe, it will work. That's right, this weapon still counts as a tier 3 axe when thrown. This myth is confirmed and will probably be patched in less than a week. The final myth in today's episode comes in from TBNA Frangs and they ask, Myth, by the oak tree there's a husky weed in the water. Can you chop it with a dagger? Let's check it out. I found the weed in question and went into the water. As you can see, you can indeed chop it down using a tier 2 or higher dagger. So this myth is confirmed, you can break a weed with a dagger as long as you're in the water. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Mythbusting. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like because I tortured myself spending 5 hours building a cover over the entire sandbox. I could have just covered a corner of it, but I did the whole thing just for you. Thank you so much for 6k subs, and I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.